Welcome to a special episode of Power Up. Um, guys, I've been derelict in my duty to provide you the latest and greatest in gaming because there's a game I was watching today. I was walk, watching a walkthrough. Uh, previously, I had seen an article on Polygon about this game, and I thought it was a demo. So I just skimmed a couple sentences and just went to the next article. And that game, of course, is Half-Life Alex. Now, if you know anything about the Half-Life series, you know that Valve didn't do a third um, game. They don't do third games as a rule. They didn't do a Left 4 Dead 3. They didn't do a um, Team Fortress 3. They didn't do... I, they just don't do that. They didn't do a Portal 3. All those games ended after the second installment. Now, of course, Half-Life itself has had many games. Uh, they had Half-Life Opposing Force, Half-Life Blue Shift, Half-Life uh, Episode, uh, uh, Half-Life 2, Episodes 1 and 2. But like I said, there was no 3. And the last time they released a Half-Life property was 2007 that's right 2007 so i had given up hope because they valve has this this platform for games called steam you might have heard of it steam is so popular that they they could they could just do steam for the rest of their career whatever you want to call it and not have to worry about money because it's just just that lucrative the, the money they probably make on skins and uh counter-strike go would probably just sustain them forever but so anyway long story short i saw an article about half-life alex and i did not know that it was a full game game as you can probably see and I watched the walkthrough today and I was just floored because this game in case you don't already know is uh, played through virtual reality headsets now if you see some of the footage from it you could be in the middle of a firefight uh, crouch behind a car and you can pull open the car door with your hand with your actual hand in the game it, uh, the character in the in the series her name is Alex she was a character in Half-Life 2 got introduced in Half-Life 2 you're playing her this uh, game actually takes place between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 but but this is the, the great thing about it it changes the game the ending of Half-Life 2, Episode 2, in a way that I did not anticipate. So, and, and it actually made it, made me anticipate, not that I wasn't anticipating anyway, but it made me anticipate what was going to happen. And it, it made me feel like they are definitely going to do a Half-Life 3 now. But getting back to the gameplay, you're playing as Alex. She has a helper in the game, this guy called Russell. He gives her these uh, gravity... Uh, gloves. And they're pretty much like the gravity gun in Half-Life 2, but better, if you can believe that. But there's so much about this game, uh, watching it, it just, I've played VR headsets at like the demo era at Best Buy, and I, I've never seen an implementation this good. In fact, I would have already ordered this game if not for the fact that the, the headset is, uh, cost something like $700. <laughs> it was already a little, little bit too late for me to be getting the game and doing a review on it since everybody in, uh, in the game world already has a walkthrough up. But uh, it's just a beautiful game. It's you, uh, they made it using their latest Steam two, uh, Source 2 technology. 
Um, and like I said, it's compatible with all Steam VR compatible VR headsets. That that includes the Valve Index, of course, the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Oculus Quest. So what I'm saying is, guys, for years we've been waiting for the killer app that would bring virtual reality into the mainstream. This is it. I could... Uh, for what I know with games like Call of Duty, I could definitely see people playing Call of Duty um, using this engine. It's just so beautiful and seamless. But don't take my word for it. Um, this walkthrough's up. I just wanted to just chime in today because I was disappointed in myself because I didn't take it seriously. When I, I should have taken it seriously, I should have read that article. I probably would have the headset right now had I read that article. Um, and it just gives me a lot of hope for future installments of Half-Life. Because um, <laughs> this game has been something like 22 years in the making. I mean, I'm talking about the, from, from the first conception of Half-Life. It might be even longer than that. It might be something like 24 years. So, but it's, man, we've been waiting a long time for this thing, this this third installment. And it just looks like it's going to happen now. Because one thing about the Half-Life um, properties is they don't really do a sequel unless they can take advantage of some new technology. Last time with, Half, with Half-Life 2, it was Source, the first Source engine. And because it's a, it was a, cool back in the day it was very cutting edge is a physics based engine and they wanted something to demonstrate that engine and of course we know what happened from there we they have, of course uh released um some versions of counter track in this in the source engine and um i think i think counter track go too i might be mistaken about that but i think it was released using source one it might be source two though but so they have another technology to, that they can take advantage of with with the next release i hope of half life three so i'm looking forward to that i'm just so excited to finally have this technology have this a uh, killer game that i i think a lot of people are going to play and enjoy and any doubts they had about this being a viable thing is going to is going to make it a reality now. Um, hopefully, we'll be seeing this coming into the consoles and, and whatnot. I'm that hyped about it. Just go like I said. Go ahead. Just go YouTube. Type in Half Life Alex. Uh, walk through. You would be happy that you 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 follow my advice. But that's all I got for today. I'd like to thank my subscribers and encourage you to, you know, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, comment, and I will see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.